everybody so it's been over a year <laughs> since I posted my last video um so I just want to give an update about what I've been doing where I've been stuff like that so um I think the last time when I posted I was working as a support teacher for children with autism and it was great, but I was only being paid a little over minimum wage, so I got promoted to a toddler room teacher, so I was um, taking care of toddlers, and I did not like it. I'm going to expand on that experience in another video, but yeah, so I got promoted to a... I got $2 more, like, on my per hour. But I didn't like it, so I decided to quit. <laughs> quit from that company, from that daycare, and apply to another place. And now, and then since January 2020, I've been working um, for an out of school care, so 5 to 12 year olds. And um, sorry, my dog's being, um, she's like sniffing around. Kia, what are you doing? Come here. This is her. She's almost five now. She's almost five years old. Let's see, she was born in 2016, so 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So she'll be five in 2021. She is so cute. She's a distraction, though. But yeah, so I've... um. I've been working as an out-of-school care staff for five to year olds I used to work in one of these uh, places. Um, it was about a 20-minute bus ride from my house. I'll just call it GA. I'm not going to tell you what the company name or what the daycare name is just for confidentiality. But yeah, so GA. I was working at GA. And the company, let's call it W. So W owns nine different um, daycares. And it's a nonprofit, actually, but yeah. So I was working at GA for about uh, three months, and then the pandemic happened. <laughs> the COVID nineteen thing happened, and all places were shut down. And then we, Kia, what are you doing? My dog Kia, she's like being crazy. You're so crazy, Kia. Anyway. Yeah, so I was working at GA for about three months before the pandemic started. And then, Kia, can you stop that, please? Thank you. Kia, no thank you. I don't like that. Come here. And then the pandemic started. Um, and then we were given a choice. Uh, we were asked if we wanted to get laid off or if we could... Um, continue working and I chose to continue working but the GA was closed so they moved me to this place I'll, I'll call it PW so PW was actually a lot closer to my house it was like a 15 minute walk to my house so I asked for a permanent transfer to PW instead of going back to GA when it opened and now I've been working at PW since April April 2020 and there was some stuff that happened at PW with my manager. And um, unfortunately, my manager no longer works at PW. So I've been doing the manager role, but I haven't... Um, I, I, I'm not really the manager. I'm more like the... Um, how do you call that? I'm, I'm the acting manager. So until someone new gets hired, I'm doing the management role. But I did apply for the posting for the permanent manager position, but I don't know if I'll get it. But I've been doing the manager role for about, um, since, uh, September 25, I believe. So about a month. Oh, was it October? Yeah, September 25th. So I've been doing the management role for about a month, and I really like it. It's a, l a little bit stressful, a little bit hard. But I like, I like the title, I like the position. I like that I, I get paid more than a regular staff. But yeah, so that's been work-wise. 
And then school-wise, I went back to school in 2019. Um, in summer, in the summer of 2019, I completed my early childhood education assistant license, and um, yeah. And then in about, and then in September, no, in January, I believe. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. In January 2020, I went back to uh, school at this place called Langara in Vancouver. But it was all online. Even before the pandemic started, it was already online. And same thing with my EC, uh, Early Childhood Education Assistant License uh, certificate. It was all online because I wanted to work still. I didn't want to go to classes and stuff. So I've been doing online schooling for over a year now. And in 2022, I'll have my full early childhood education assist, uh, no, not assistance, my full early childhood education, no, early childhood educator certificate in 2022. So yeah, that's um, going to be a while, about two years, but I'm excited. It's it's helping me with working in childcare. Um, so right now, as of now, I have a bachelor's of arts degree from Simon Fraser University in Burnaby, BC. Um, and, and my major was psychology, so I had that. And then I also have my early childhood education assistance license. Um, and then in 2022, instead of an early childhood education assistance license, I'll have a full early childhood educator certificate slash license. So yeah, I'm very excited. Um, another thing, when it comes to my mental health, um, I switched medications a little bit. Well, no, I didn't switch medications. I switched dosages. Is that a word? Dosages. I switched um, the dosage of my olanzapine, which is an antipsychotic. So I switched uh, from 10, no, it was 15, and then I switched to 10. Then I went back to 15, went back to 20 because of my, my auditory hallucinations were getting worse. But then I gained a lot of weight. I gained like 20 pounds. So I asked my um, psychiatrist if she could put it back to 10. And right now I'm on 15. And if everything goes well, she'll put me back on 10. And then I've been taking Rexalti. And that's fine. No real side effects from Rexalti. Um, if you guys have any questions about Rexalti or Elizapine, let me know. Um, and then my antidepressants have been the same for years. I've been taking Zoloft slash... Um, What's it? What's the scientific name? Um, what is it? Uh, what is it? Ah, I can't remember. Um, it was uh, what was it? Hold on, let me search this. It was um, Zoloft, Sertraline. I don't know why I forgot about that, but yeah, I've been taking sertraline, so it's Zoloft. That's the brand name, and the, the, the actual name is sertraline, and I like that one. Um, in terms of depression, I've been having some moments where I've, I, I feel sad. <clears throat> I feel sad for no reason, but um, it's not like before when I was on a Prozac, when I was like always bored. Um, yeah, but. I think I like Zoloft better than Prozac. Um, yeah. And then auditory hallucinations wise, I've been having them, but Olanzapine has been helping, but again, they haven't disappeared or anything. And then, um, what else is new? My church, I go to church every Sunday, but uh, since March, they've been closed. Um, so they've been doing online service services. And I like online services, but I miss going to church, um, like, in person. But, yeah. Um, anything else? Um, I'll be 25 in two months, so that's exciting. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Let's see how, how, how long this has been. It's been nine minutes. Okay, so I recently got a haircut, so that's another thing. <laughs> But I really want to continue this channel, even though I haven't been on here for a year or over a year. I want to continue it just because I've been inspired by some some uh, friends of mine who, well, it was, one of my friends, her boyfriend has a YouTube channel. 
and it's really inspiring so at first I was kind of jealous about it but then I'm like you know what instead of being jealous I should just take it as an inspiration to grow my own channel so I'm gonna continue to post I already have um videos video ideas in mind and I wrote them down so I'm gonna try to post once a week um but if not, then we'll see. But um, thank you to the, I think there's 39 of you watching or 39 of you who have subscribed at least. Um, let's go from 39 to 50, then 50 to 100, 100 to 200, 200 to 500, 500 to 1,000. I don't know. I just want to grow my channel, but I don't know how. I just w And also I want to help, you know, with the mental health uh, aspect of it. So... Um, yeah, because I know a lot of you are also struggling with mental health issues like I am. Um, and I would like to give a platform for that. I do have a blog. Um, I don't really feel comfortable linking it um, because um, it's it has my actual name on it. My name is Jen Hilario. So, um, cause I don't like it when like I can search my name on Google, which I've done, like search my name on Google and be like, and you can see, <laughs> uh, it's not that I'm embarrassed of my YouTube channel. I'm just kind of, um, I just want to keep it on the down low from my, from my circle of, from my support, um, support group. <laughs> I don't know how to call it, but my support system, I don't really want them to see my YouTube channel right now. I'm more comfortable with strangers seeing my YouTube channel than I am with my family. Just because my, my parents are not really, um, they don't really want me to share about my mental health struggles and my mental health issues with other people. But I I don't mind sharing it because I'm an open book. Um, yeah, so that's, that's about it. Uh, yep, yeah, so I got another certificate on top of my bachelor's degree. Um, I'm working on my... On a full certificate. Um, I've what else? I've been doing the management role. I've moved around a little bit, changed uh, organizations slash companies. I I'm at W now instead of the other one. Um, yeah. I think that's about it for me. Um, what's new with you, you guys? Okay, this. <laughs> what's new with you guys? Let me know. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So let me know um, what's new with you. And that's what's new with me. Okay, bye.